We still have more than a month left of season 5 and we have no idea whether season 6 will even follow up straight after or not and it's very likely we'll still get some kind of event in game between then and now but it's hard to speculate about that because we just have such little information to go off of. So instead I thought why don't we talk about season 6 because somehow we do have a bit more information about season 6 to go off of including potential map changes, legend buffs, lore, a weapon and more. So with that being said let's talk about my predictions for content for Apex Legends season 6. Let's first start with the next weapon. Season 5 didn't get a weapon and I think there's good reason for that. Developers stated that they don't want to fill the weapon pool and damage the meta. And I think that that was a good choice. The weapon meta is in a decent space right now but it took a long time to get there and by adding more weapons you're taking attention away from other weapons that may need it. And then there's the added problem that each weapon has weapon skins that people have spent real money on so it can be very hard to vault weapons. I do think we'll get a new weapon in season 6. It's a weapon that's been teased and I just can't see how they won't add it. Now the EPG grenade launcher was on the Battle Pass Wingman skin showcase video in game. That's actually happened one time before with the Sentinel and the following season it was added to the game. Something like this seems less like an accident to me and more like a very subtle tease, especially considering this isn't the first time this has happened. The EPG is a weapon from Titanfall so if you want to check out more about it definitely watch my video covering it. So what else can we expect from Season 5? Well I think a slight Bangalore buff may be on the table. They've mentioned it already and they're definitely taking community feedback right now. This Twitter user shared their own feedback and the developers responded saying that it's a great idea for a buff. So I also wanted to share my own buff idea. Here's what I said. What people want. Ultimate rockets explode faster which turns it into an area based damage thing like Gibby's ult. But what I want Ultimate rockets stay on the ground longer which turns it into a powerful repositioning tool. To me Bangalore's ultimate should be about placing the ultimate down, buying a team time to reposition or forcing other teams to be split from each other. But here's the kicker, the rockets explode based on proximity. If an enemy walks through the rocket field, bam 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 bam. However your team is free to walk through it freely. Imagine the repositioning power this could give Bangalore and it creates a much different experience to Gibby's ult giving Bangalore more unique team based potential. What do you think? Or if you have another suggestion for Bangalore's buff let me know. Whatever happens to Bangalore it's likely she's next in line for a small tweak and this season launch is often a good time for these kinds of legend balance changes. Next let's talk about the next map for Apex Legends season 6. I know a lot of you are expecting that we get a new map on the planet Samathi as there has been hints that that's where Revenant's head was teleported. But there's definitely unfinished business on World's Edge 2 and I wouldn't be surprised if we get another map update there. What will come first? Well this tweet might give a hint. A developer revealed that World's Edge will be the map to be the first ranked split in season 6. This season the first split was of course Kings Canyon because it was the most recently updated map. And in season 4 it was World's Edge because it was the map to get the update that season. Now there's no confirmation that Respawn are going to continue that pattern. They could still add a new map and start off World's Edge in ranked Q but to me that seems quite strange. I guess the reasoning could be that they want people to get a feel for the new map in casual before putting Smaffy in the ranked Q but I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see but it's either a World's Edge map update or a map change to Samafi, one of the two. So of course we're going to get a new legend too but there's no hints yet of who that may be so we really have nothing to go off of there so instead let's talk about lore. We've got lots of juicy lore updates to talk about. Firstly we've got confirmation from Tom Cassiello, a writer at Respawn that we'll get to find out where Revenant lives before the end of 2020. Now season 6 could end in October so that may be something we'll get in season 7 instead but that's definitely exciting to hear about. We know that Revenant is this angry murder bot but I wonder if he has any other feelings. Does he still feel human? I'd really love for that story to be explored. We can also assume we'll get more voice lines for interactions between the legends. We don't know when unfortunately but it's very likely more will be added in season 6 and we have some hints from Tom Cassiello about who will be interacting with each other. Apparently there will be some very good voice lines between Watson and Revenant and apparently Mirage and Rafe voice lines will be along the way. We knew early on in the Broken Ghost story that Mirage sort of tried to do his whole Mirage charm act towards Wraith and it backfired miserably as you'd expect so we'll have to see how that relationship pans out. 
Now what about Crossplay and Apex coming to Steam? Well, they said the launch would be in the fall, but there's really no way to know when that will be. August is still technically the summer, and that's when Season 6 should drop, and I don't think they'd want to push it out halfway through a season. I think it's more likely the Crossplay update will come in October with Season 7, which is smack bang in the middle of the fall. We'll have to wait and see though. So that's pretty much all we know so far, of course we get the typical nerfs, buffs, balancing changes, battle pass, collection event and limited event later in the season 2, all of which we have no idea what they'll be. So that wraps up this video, what do you think about season 6 and season 5 so far, what kind of content would you like to see next in Apex? Let me know, leave a comment and I'll see you there. Cheerio! Did you know I stream almost every day from 7pm UK time or 11am Pacific Standard Time? You can catch me live right here on YouTube, so make sure you have notifications turned on. I also have a new members program. Become a member for $2.99 a month, get your comments highlighted in videos, get a cool badge in live stream chat, get access to these cute emotes and also gain access to my members tips videos, where you can ask me for any tips and I'll be making new videos weekly to help you improve your own game. Click the join button or click the link in the video description to get involved.